Canapes, absolutely crucial at Christmas because everyone seems to be waiting for their Christmas lunch. Now, aubergine caviar. These are one of my favorite vegetables. It's deep, rich, purple, and full of flavor. Okay, cut the aubergines in half. This is a kind of canapé that can be done two or three days before you actually need it because the more in advance you do it, the better the flavor. And just look, you can see those little seeds there and that's where the word caviar comes from because it's like the poor man's caviar. Get the aubergine, nice sharp knife and just score, crisscrossing. Get your garlic, just one clove of garlic per aubergine, cut it in half. Okay, and then just rub it all over the aubergine. And now the aubergines are already perfumed by garlic. Next, I'm going to take some rosemary and some sprigs of thyme. And all we're going to do now is just get the little sprigs of rosemary, use the stalk of the rosemary, and then just stab the aubergine with the rosemary. And once you finish with it, it looks like a little minefield. So we're going to do one half with rosemary and then one half with thyme. This is one of my favorite vegetables because when I came back from Paris, having lived there for three years, I had my first ever restaurant and it was called aubergine. The nightmare behind that, of course, was every vegetarian in Britain thought that I'd opened a vegetarian restaurant, God forbid. However, I made it my job to make sure that we had vegetarian dishes of great excitement and this was one of them. Rosemary, thyme, garlic, now for the salt. We just get the rock salt and just crush and within seconds you can start to see the aubergine almost weeping. Then we're just going to drizzle the aubergines with olive oil and they're ready for the oven. But first, we've got to wrap them in tinfoil, almost like making a, a sort of Christmas cracker. Okay, aubergines, rosemary, thyme, garlic, salt, back together. And then just take your tinfoil and wrap them up and then just twist. They have to be baked on a very hot oven, 35 to 40 minutes at 200 degrees and wait and see it and it comes down by half in size but the flavour is 10 times better. Into the oven, 200 degrees. Take the aubergines out, just unwrap them and just smell when you get inside there. Amazing, absolutely delicious. Now, take them out the tinfoil it's time to dig for the caviar. So get a spoon. Look, it's almost like spooning out ice cream. It's a lot easier to scoop out the centre when they're warm. And your herbs, get rid of the stalks, but all those bits of thyme and rosemary and garlic keep in. And don't worry if little bits of skin are left in there. It doesn't matter. And look, look how much comes out of there. Make sure you scrape all the aubergine. And then you get a knife and just, nice heavy knife, and just sort of chop. Now, it doesn't look that attractive, but don't worry about how things look. Right now, worry about what the flavor comes out of it. Okay, nice. Touch of olive oil in there, and once it's chopped nice and fine like that, into the pan. And we're going to just sort of lightly roast it now. And it sort of dries it out, almost thickens the aubergine. And again, any water that was left inside those aubergines is now going to be cooked out. And so we just stir it around. And we incorporate all that olive oil in there. That's it. Literally 30 seconds on the stove, off the heat. And now, about a tablespoon of coriander, roll it up into a nice little cigar and then take your knife and then just chop away and then straight in. Now we're going to finish it with sour cream. If you can't get hold of sour cream, get creme fraiche. Okay, sour cream in, 
be generous with it because we want to make sure that this just tastes, you know, something above delicious. Fresh lemon juice. And then squeeze the lemon in there. And then just mix in. Finish it off with some rock salt and then some freshly ground pepper. And that just wakens everything up and livens the whole thing up. Okay, now that's ready. And I'd have no problem doing that two days before Christmas or even three days and just leave it in the fridge. It gets nice and thick and the coriander keeps it nice and live and the lemon juice keeps it nice and fresh and the whole thing never dies out of flavour. Then to serve it, get your bowl and spoon that in there. Then when your guests are around, and when they look at it and say, what is that? So yeah, welcome, Merry Christmas. That is perfect aubergine caviar. Mm, delicious. And then, if for some bizarre reason you have someone that comes around that happens to be a vegetarian, what an amazing present. There you go. Now eat up and shut up. <laughs>